I'm Janet Jones. I'm Joseph Jones. So we've been married. July will be 29 years. We do devotions together. We pray together. Um, we, we do a lot of texting together um, as far as encouraging each other. Um, three kids in college communicating back and forth and just, you know, pray for this one today or let's do this today or, or tonight let's be involved or thinking about our class or things like that. And we serve together. We teach Sunday school. Serve together. Mm -hmm. Pete and Ruth Corcoran, 45 years. We go to church to worship God all the time. Ever since we got married, we put God first. I think it's just having somebody who, out of everybody else in the world, he's one who shares all the memories with me of our kids, of our life together. We have this life that we've built from being young 20s to now, and just having somebody there that's out of anybody else in the world, even over your parents, he's the one who is, is your heart, and he knows exactly how you feel about daily life and everything that you deal with. Yeah, well said. Just an incredible history together, and she knows me better than anyone, and she accepts me better than anyone, and just awesome to know that the Lord has someone for you out there like that. We've been places, traveled. Uh, we've been so blessed we can't even describe it. Lindy Israel. We're very considerate of each other. Her needs, my needs, uh, whenever we need to go somewhere, where we're gonna eat, we discuss it, say where we're gonna go, where we're gonna travel, where we wanna travel. I think that it's marriage changes over, over the years. So like um, the way your marriage was when you were first married may not be what it looks like in five years as you have kids and as you go through job changes, things can change and you have to adjust all the time to what's going on. He, his needs now might be different than they were 10 years ago. Her, her, her MS has been hard to deal with, that's for sure. Um, the loss of, of her son was very difficult to deal with. Without Christ in our life, it would have been very even more difficult. But when you put Christ at the center of it, you understand that there's death, there's life, and you go on. I mean, we're both pretty calm, level-headed. Neither one of us have a temper or anything like that. So it's. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of talking out. Sometimes it's talk and you go your separate ways and you come back and talk about it again. We never go to sleep angry. We, we get it out of our system before we go to bed. We're more focused on each other and our church. We, we take our church, we don't take it for granted when we come to church. We, don't, we taught Sunday school for 28 years. We loved every minute of it. And when she could no longer do it, we had, to, we had to stop, but that doesn't mean we didn't stop committing ourselves to, to every service, every message that came along, reading our Bible every day. It, it's the center of our life. Well, I, I think we have 100% trust in the Lord. We, we go to the Lord for everything. I mean, it's amazing in the course of even a week what life throws at you. Sometimes, like she said earlier, it's it could be even so simple as a bad day, but an understanding heart from your wife changes everything and changes your attitude. And you know you can come home and, but even more than that, you, you know the Lord's watching out for you and he's always in your corner and he's, we deserve nothing, he's given us everything. Mm -hmm. Put Christ first. Definitely, put Christ first above everything else and it'll all work out.